Okay, I was literally like just doing my work, but I have to speak about this right now. So TikTok is actually trying to make me psycho. I've been with my boyfriend for like oh almost three and a half years. Like literally next week is three and a half. And there's such a toxic side to TikTok is what I'm understanding. Like at the beginning of our relationship, I was barely on it. And I was so like, like I've never thought of these things until recently. And then I finally connected the dots. Basically. Fact. So what she's saying is TikTok is slowly shifting her subconscious mind to think everything is negative. And that's a fact because all I see is negative videos on there. I don't know if it's my kind of like for you page or whatever the case may be. I watch all these random dating videos, but the streets are miserable. I mean, you can even see from these videos, 90% of the videos I put up are not people saying, oh, we had an amazing first date. Things were lovely. Things were great. Hell no. Nah. People don't want to hear that. Do people want to hear that people are having an amazing experience with dating? No. Everyone wants to see that everyone else is miserable. But we're back to it. Let me let her speak. There's a side of TikTok that puts shit in your head that's so like unrealistic and so awful that like makes you want to be angry like makes you mm. want to get mad like i just saw one early today being like check his instagram Damn. following list like it's finally <laughs> in chronological order again and then they're like oh your boyfriend's definitely had a boner for other girls Yikes. oh yeah 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 like things you'd never think about like ever damn like they generally try to stir shit up in your head and then i've literally like before like i see one of these tiktoks and immediately i'm like oh my god like is this what women are doing now y'all are going through people's followers list I got to unfollow people now. I have to unfollow the, the IG models that maybe, you know, somehow, some way magically came through the pipeline. Like, I got to unfollow people. Damn, we got to unfollow. They're checking followers. I can't. That makes me kind of angry. And then it takes me a second to be like, okay, chill. Like, <laughs> you're being psycho. But I know for other people, that's probably like, they probably can't stop it. I'm yeah, yep, yeah, facts. Y'all are addicted. That's a fact in real time. And I'm going to stop it there because she probably goes into a whole nother deep, dark rabbit hole of what is going on out in these streets. But everyone is too tapped in. I catch myself doing it sometimes. And I really got to take a step back from these apps because as you get to be enthralled, you just obsessed with some of these women. I've seen things now that are wild. I'll see, go to a picture. The person isn't even talking. All they're doing is opening their butt cheeks. 20,000 likes. I'm like, why? So I'm going to speak on all of it because as we continue to look at these phones, look at social media and think we're winning. No, we're taking a we're taking a major L in the streets right now because everyone is tapped into some type of thing. If you're not tapped into the dating spectrum, you're tapped into the culture. You're trying to be in art and fashion and pop culture. Kim Kardashian, Shaw's a sunset. Loving hip hop. What else? There's so many of these random things that we get sucked into on a day to day basis and we completely forget about self. Right then and there, when you tap into all these things, you on TikTok for four to five hours. And this is not me about to go into some type of let's get motivated. Let's, nah, everybody continue to do whatever the hell y'all want. Y'all gonna do it anyway. That's why I don't give advice. So it's like, yo, we're tapped into these phones. These phones got us done off especially in dating, because she just said it as a woman in a relationship of three years, she's still listening to bozos and clowns give advice online. Like if you're giving out advice online and you're single, why you don't, you're not making any type of sense. <laughs> like the goal is to be in a relationship. You don't have the reps. You don't have the practice of being in a relationship in real time. So why are you trying to give out this unsound advice? But hey, that's what she's saying. She's getting all this information. Check your followers list. I've seen so many different videos, even ones that I put out. It's so many different tactics and rules. Yo, if somebody likes you, dislikes you, loves you, hates you, whatever the case may be, nothing you do can stop them from reacting and acting how they want to act in real time. Yo, because trying to find some type of hidden clue in their followers list, watching every single story, what does that do? Getting all this information online. I'm confused now. What are we going to do here? Because 
This information obviously isn't solving any problems, but we still continue to come back to this trash information. And this isn't me giving information. This is me laughing in real time. Like I say, this is based in satire. And I got to say that a couple more times for the people in the comments thinking I'm trying to give advice. No, sir. This won't work for you. This is just here for your entertainment, for your enjoyment. That's really what it is. Can we be confused together? Can we learn in real time? Because everyone is tapped in. And as you watch this video, you'll be like, damn, what he's saying is facts. Even you are tapped in. <laughs> right? So we got to really think about it. And yeah, if you're really trying to date someone, you really should be nowhere near their social media. That's just a fact. And if you're a woman thinking that all this information you're getting in real time from the apps is going to work, it's not. And you could probably use some of this en energy to get to know the dude that you're actually dating and with, because I'm sure he would love that. You put the energy that you're trying to do and the energy into trying to find someone doing something, I guess, disrespectful, cheating, lying, maybe sneaky linking and moving around in a shysty way. Nah, put that energy into seeing what type of person they are, tapping into their values and their morals. But nah, we rather scour the internet. We rather watch their stories. We rather go to their followers and see who they're following and seeing if they got any pictures together. Nobody's actually trying to do the work. And that's why I know dating is never going to work because people are lazy. I said it. I'm sorry. The majority of people are not going to put in the hard work they really need to do to be in a healthy relationship because it is work. I say that sometimes to women I've dated in the past. They're like, oh, this isn't a job. This isn't shin me. <laughs> right? Yo, if you're really trying to build with a woman, if you really care about a woman, you're thinking about every single process you have to incorporate to make this person feel one, appreciated, two, happy, and three, loved. 